Earth Study is a procedure-oriented and systematic study to establish the one best way, standard, method of doing an operation by investigation and analysis of all the details regarding the job or operation carried out as per the established standard method. There are several steps involved in work study. Step number one, select the job or process to be studied. Step number two, record all the details concerning job using various recording techniques. Step number three, examine the recorded facts critically by asking questions like who, what, when, and why. Step number four, develop the most economical method. Step number five, measure the amount of work involved and set standard time to do that job. Step number six, define the new method and standard time. Step number seven, install the new method as a standard practice. And, step number eight, maintain new method as agreed standards. Work simplification plays important role in successful work study. Any production system is characterized by the coordination of machines and equipments, materials and men. Rapid change in technology and introduction of new technologies are making the processes and methods more complex. Human factor has become all the more important though automation and computer controls are catching up. The process management is key to the success of the product and company. Method study aims to identify the key processes and process parameters. A detailed investigation is carried out to get all the necessary details in order to analyze the existing process and break the process into parts, or operations, which helps to plan and control. A detailed analysis with respect to process inputs, like men, material, money, and also the process parameters is carried out to improve the process and to get the desired level of output both in terms of quality and quantity. The work simplification starts with the analysis of the product and a detailed evaluation with regards to whether it can be changed in such a way as to make it easier to produce by reducing the waste, eliminating non-value adding operations, design modification, etc. Thus work study is a powerful tool to make work simplification. Human considerations in work study. Work study will become the powerful management tool to improve productivity only if a good relationship is established between the managers, supervisors, employees, and workers. Due considerations should be given to everyone concerned as an individual and should see that no one will perceive a threat to his security and self-respect. Thus it is essential to consider the relationship between work study and workers, supervisors and the management as work study is a participative tool for investigation of the work being performed. Work study and the management. Managements have to take a positive outlook and attitude towards all the concerned, the supervisor and workers. Traditionally the management should change the preoccupied belief that workers always does not want to work and too much stress on only increasing the labor productivity, by making workers to work hard, without giving due considerations to other aspects like working environment, technology and motivation to workers, the management should realize the fact that the workers are the key contributors to the productivity and success of the organization. The workers should be compensated fairly for contribution and also provide an opportunity to get involved in the affairs concerning them and they should be given an opportunity to participate in the decision making concerning their work and work related problems. Thus the management should create a climate of mutual trust and confidence in which every individual should feel to contribute positively towards the improvement. Thus work study being worker centered, due considerations should be given to their needs motivation and problems to get the maximum benefit out of this technique. Thus management can gain a lot from work study if it is able to convince the workers and unions regarding the objectives of this study and there should a free and open communication between the management and employees to get the maximum benefit out of work study. Work study and supervisor. The work study man is going to face difficult problems because of the supervisor or foreman's attitude. Foreman is a manager on the shop floor to workers and the success of work study in all its phases depends on him as it is he who is going to cooperate with the work study man. Before the work study begins, the whole purpose of the work study and the procedures involved in the work study must be carefully explained to the foreman so that he understands exactly what is being done. This facilitates the work of the work study man as he is going to convey and convince the workers regarding the purpose and benefits of work study. 
Thus the work study man has to establish trust and friendship and sell his idea to get the acceptability of the foreman. Work study and the workers. Work study brings about the improvements through changes in the methods, procedures, and also some habits. This change, the workers always perceive it as a threat to their job security and their familiarity. Any change is always resisted by human beings as there is a lot of uncertainty, or probability, is associated. Thus the management and the work study man should be able to gain the acceptability and confidence of the workers by making them understand the need for the change and how this change is going to benefit both the workers and their organization. Now, the workers' attitude towards work is changing fast workers no more tolerate boredom and monotony on the work. Because of long years of education and exposure, they want to be master of their own and wants to take a decision concerning their work by themselves. So a greater responsibility now rests on the management to constructively channelize their efforts into constructive outlets by providing them an opportunity and climate wherein workers will feel affiliated, work to their full potential. In this context, work study from the workers' point of view is gaining special attention. Work study man. There are some qualities and qualifications expected from a work study man. He must be educated to the level that he can grasp the problems. Preferably a university degree in engineering is preferred if he is expected to take other responsibilities in the area of production management. Basic requirements are Exposure and experience to the various production systems, a good knowledge of methods and systems of work study, objective approach to shop floor problems a strong believer of improvement of work methods through work study, and, mentally suited to the work. Personal qualities of a work study man must include, sincerity and honesty, enthusiasm, interest in and sympathy with people, good appearance and self-confidence, and, tact in dealing with people, 